a perfect way, Gary, to kick off uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly with the good. Yes, I've come full circle, Jared. You'd be pleased to know. On Nick Natanui. Oh, you oh, finally got it. on board. Jeez, it's late. No, well, the last few years I have, but this was this was Nick Nat at his menacing absolute. He's yeah. unstoppable. He's a, one, he's a one man wrecking crew. Yes. In this uh, mood, mo Brownie, he is unstoppable. Yeah. And his follow up work, his tap work's always been, you know, unbelievable. His follow up work was just a delight to watch. So, with the All Australian Brewing, you thought, oh, he's just made it hard. And then Max, about two hours later, <laughs> said, hey, hey, don't forget me. <laughs> well done, Yeah, he was phenomenal. Hey, I uh, just wanted to tip the cap to Harry Mackay. So, obviously, yes. Carlton not playing finals, but. Uh, to do what he's done in a side that has struggled at times this year, winning the Coleman medal, uh, well done, Big Harry. I, I, he's come along mm. much quicker than I thought he uh, was going to, Brownie. I wasn't even sure that he'd be able to hold down that He's that key. competitor, though, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he is. He's, mu he's much more competitive. He's athletic. Um, he's had a terrific year. Good so effort. Well Coleman medal yeah. was a good effort. Brownie? Uh, well done to Cal Ward. Uh, he's bounced back this year. He's played every game. He's had a horrific run of injuries uh, the prior couple of years. He had an ACL. And a yes. compound fracture of his finger. He was magnificent on the weekend. 28 and two goals. Uh, he's a spiritual leader there, um, ex-captain. So he probably got the votes on the weekend as well. And I think he's in red-hot form going into the final series. He'd be one of their key players, Jerry. Uh, well, I'm going to work, uh, work my way through to the North Melbourne. Uh, they had a disappointing day uh, on the weekend. But Taron Thomas, I think, needs recognition. His performance this year has been uh, quite superb. And he's uh, finished up this year as the third highest rated mid-forward uh, since round seven. So that's a bloke who has turned his season around, helped on turn North Melbourne's season around. Sadly, a poor day yesterday, but Taron Thomas should be saluted. Gary. All right, just stick with me on this one. This is a very picky one, but it's a coaching thing. And this is what happens, I think, sometimes when you change a coach. Nick Dacos here, you cannot let Heppel get past him. This is in the first eight seconds of the match. Roadblock. You've got to make body contact there, Brownie. I know it's yeah. you'll think it's picky and pedantic, yeah. but that, good teams just do that. We so used to call it a roadblock, guys, and the coaches went off their heads. Well, it's the start of the game, Brownie, yeah. so I'm looking at the game. I'm yeah. going, what's the, what sort of mindset will the pies be in? And Heppel handballs and Nick just let him walk past. So mm -hmm. I reckon the new coach, won't, he won't, that won't be stood for. Uh, I know the Eagles were a, uh, a very big nuisance uh, for Brisbane on the weekend, <laughs> but if you wonder why they can't, uh, haven't been oh. done that well <laughs> lately, the Eagles, it's because they can't even get the jumpers right. Have a look at Harry Edwards here. What eagle eye picked this up? He's so wearing the wrong oh, jumper. Come on, boys. Harry. Really he... picked this up during the call. That's One of the amazing. great pickups. Uh, this like last quarter as well. He's still getting around in the in the wrong jumper. Did he? Did he bring that from home? Did he? He might have an Eagles supporter growing up. He's grabbed the wrong one. I've never seen it. Uh, on the same game. Too. We go back to uh, this is the reason why Brisbane finished in the top four. Jared Berry misses one from the oh, top of the goal oh. square. Just stay away. The Eagles are still in the game at this stage. Yep. You oh. know, Berry threw embarrassment. He's probably going to throw himself to the ground. The umpire gives him that second kick. Three grand fine, too, to Jared Berry. Yeah, but still, just stay away. He's we had the, the argument on the night, the big... Uh, I know you did. I was listening off. intently. It's fake tough. And I thought Nick got the points. Thank you, Brownie, yeah, as well usual. Not, <laughs> not, not with public sentiment when I got home. And I'm 16 it. and 0. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Mate, you, need a, you need a new rider, Gary. Now, I want you to listen in to the umpires <laughs> because they have got to start working in sync. Stan! I'm here. Yours. Fifty metres, fifty metres protected area. So the bloke who says stay out, stay out, don't leave it to the other bloke. You've got to make the call, mate. Is the mark? You can't say Here's stay out, stay out, Time on. and then Stand. leave it go. The rule is either in or it's out, and it's something that whoever replaces Steve Hocking needs to address. Gary, you got an ugly. Still getting over the two tough men. I thought that was a free kick. Um, right, <laughs> let me have a look at this. Carl Amon. Now, I don't know whether this is a, is a ball in dispute where two players are a bit careful about how they go about it or whether he just took his eyes off the footy here. That's not what uh, the Port Adelaide boys want going in. I'm prepared to cut him a modicum of slack, given some of the confusion we've had with a ball in dispute these days, but only a modicum. Ooh. Yep. Uh, Collingwood, so they, they've got some issues at the moment. Rebuilding, no picks, no money that the Grundy contract is causing havoc. President uncertain, coach, no coach, no list manager, captain shopping himself around. <laughs> to make matters worse... <laughs> shopping himself Black. around? Last oh, year, baseball bat. This has got to be make bad. Matters what, worse, what was his back? <laughs> <laughs> to make matters worse, last year you trade pick 24, 30 and a fourth rounder 
for your first round uh, oh, for geez. your first round pick this year with the Ooh. Giants, Ooh. that's ended up that? being pick two. <laughs> so when you don't have picks, you could have gone to the draft this year, secured Nick Dacos with a father son, and then had pick two in the draft. So that disastrous period last year for mm. Collingwood, Jeez. it's still yeah. rearing its head. Kicking the, nice kicking the work, pies when they're down. Yeah. It's got a long memory, no. our man. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a long memory. <laughs> <laughs> and not that at all, guys. Just call it as we see it. Going to give he sure one in a minute. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, the recruiting department's going to be sore after that. Oh, the Pies. They're uh, not there anymore, Brownie. They don't care. Well, that's, yeah. They'll still be sore, though, the Pies supporters. Uh, 100 metre penalty on the weekend. Waterman, Alec Waterman. Uh, have a look at this. So, you just, you've worked your way into the side. You're in the good books with the coach. So, yeah, give away this 50 metre penalty. He has two or three cracks at giving the next one away. Oh, yeah. I reckon the umpire was pretty fair on him. That should have been one there. So that should have been one there. <laughs> so, he's given it away. He, and he's right in the way. Now, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Yeah, no one to blame but yourself. Read the rule book, mate. Mm -hmm. He's been a good player, though. Good pick up for him. Oh, yeah, nice work, uh, <laughs> Brownie. Off, I'm not a baseball bat like you. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to uh, have a, just a little bit of a uh, touch up for slamming it on your boot, uh, men and goal. Now, Sam, we know you can hit up the uh, short pass, but you've oh, got to be better than this. You're coming through the middle of the ground. This is uh, killer time. There is a lead out to the left. There's a lead straight up the middle. You're not really under the pressure, under the pump. You just can't Whoa. slam the ball bang because this is going to be the difference between you winning or losing. Here's another one. It's got to become a better option for this for Sam Menangola. Now, that one, OK, you're under some pressure, but there was a short there that you've got to have a look at. So we're... Going to uh, focus on the killer kicks uh, throughout this finals campaign and uh, slamming Sam, you got my initial nomination. The final say comes up after this and uh, don't forget Friday night, it kicks off. What a game it's going to be. The Cats and Port Adelaide and the coverage starts here on Fox Footy and it is the number one coverage at 7pm. in the parallel parking and he's wheeled out the Gold Coast combo the jet ski on a trailer it all hinges on this looking good oh just back yourself in mate he slotted it pedal to the metal you too can make it look easy with Sportsbet's AFL same game multi with more markets more offers and bigger odds if it's a same game multi it's Sportsbet You're a member. RACQ. Membership makes all the difference. Space, often the enemy of the performance car. Abundant across the Stinger range. Courtesy of its generous wheelbase and fastback design. With smart power tailgate, power sunroof, and Napa leather seating for five. Creating the ultimate in grand touring luxury. Cabin fever need not trouble you again. Kia, movement that inspires. Take my money. No one can stop us. We're losing control. Kraken and Cola and Kraken and Dry Premix. The taste you've been hunting for.
Yeah, it's real. Harry Potter. You're a wizard, Harry. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. 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 I'm Harry. Harry Potter. This program brought to you by Therabody. Release your body's deepest muscle tension. Points Bet. It's shacking easy to bet anytime, anywhere with the Points Bet app. And Harvey Norman. Everything you need in electrical, technology, furniture, and bedding. Well, it's a huge week of footy here on uh, Fox Footy. Tomorrow night, straight after AFL 360 with Jared and Gary. It's one of the great nights. On the footy calendar, everything's uh, been put back, obviously, with the COVID intrusion. But they will still induct four great members and a couple of legends tomorrow night. What a night it is, and uh, we're going to celebrate some of the great careers. Brownie? Did you say two legends? I'm pretty sure there's two going in tomorrow night. Jason Dunstall. He'd have to be close, wouldn't he? I asked him on the weekend. The silence was deafening. Have you yeah. seen any packages arrive during the last few months here at Fox Footy? I haven't, no. Oh, OK. Let's watch closely, see if the big chief goes in. Chief. He's due. What do you reckon? He's due. He's a, he's a shoe in at some stage. Yeah. I'm barricade for chief. Oh, yeah? Well, let's uh, have a look at uh, the performance of Nick Rewald because uh, today oh, he... Right. Uh, well, you're the, you're the, it's your team now, the All-Australian <laughs> Selection Night. <laughs> oh, right. Yes, and when you take on this role, you yeah. open yourself up to these sorts okay, of questions. Well, so, so what we do know about the yep. All-Australian side is it's not about who makes it, yeah. it's who... Misses out, yep. becomes the most important and don't issue. Get defensive, because oh. Jared's had to do, sit through this for yes. about fifteen, twenty years. Mm. So I had just. I might one, be one and done, Gary. I've had one question for you all night, and I've yeah. waited till then. Is you, the squad of forty's been released? Yeah. Travis Boak just wants to say good day. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my answer to that, Gary. Yes. What is your answer? I'm one of ten, Gary. Oh. Oh. Yes. Well done. He was in your team? Yes. Exactly. Oh, we're not allowed to break ranks, Jared. <laughs> you, know, you know the drill. Tell us after the show, Luke, you know Bruce, the drill. Luke Bruce couldn't make the squad? Oh, he was very close, Jared. Was he? <laughs> he was close. Yeah, uh, Brandon Sarsovich. Yeah, he was close too, Brownie. Oh, boy. I think How they were 41, 2 and 3. Oh, yeah. Travis <laughs> Boak. Crikey. Uh, Isaac Smith. <laughs> yeah, he was close too. Uh, Ridley. Yep. A lot of close, folks. <laughs> well... All I know is, if there was a night a night, you'd be well dressed if you went down to Men's Club. <laughs> Tough for the retail department. Yes, Men's Club have looked after us for years. Support them. Thanks for your company. This has been a Fox Sports production.